everyone, welcome to Learn with Lily, and today we're going to learn about our solar system. Science for kids. In our solar system, we have the sun. It's big and yellow. We also have the moon. It comes out at night. And then we also have stars. There's lots of them twinkling up in the sky. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six. We also have planets in our solar system. In wow! Fact, we have eight of them. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay! And the third one is Earth. It's where we live. There are many other planets that surround us. And their names are Mercury, Venus, Earth, hey, that's us, Mars, the red planet, followed by Jupiter. Wow, that's big! And then Saturn. Look at the ring! Followed by Uranus. And then Neptune. Those are the eight planets in our solar system. All right, let's count them all again. The eight planets in our solar system. One. Mercury. Two. Venus. Three. Earth. Four. Mars. Five. Jupiter. Six. Saturn. Seven. Uranus. Eight. Neptune. Great job, guys. And let's not forget, the sun, the moon, and, and the stars, stars, which all together make up our solar system. system. Thanks for watching, guys. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Learn with Lily. Science for kids. We're learning about the solar system. Today, we're going to learn about the sun. There are eight planets in the solar system. Do you remember what they are? We live on Earth. The other planets are Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The planets orbit around the Sun. The Sun is in the center of our solar system. The planets travel around it in a circular path. From here you can see the path that they kind of take around the Sun. The Sun is extremely hot. Is it hot enough to cook some bacon? <laughs> Perhaps. How hot is the sun's temperature? 27 million Fahrenheit, which is almost 15 million Celsius. Wow, that's hot. It sure is, but don't worry, the Earth is 92 million miles away, so we won't get burned. Wow, you need a pretty big measuring tape for that. <laughs> yeah, you sure do. Did you know that the sun is a star? I did not know that. Yeah, it's a really large star and it's almost a perfect sphere in shape. How large is the sun? Well, it has a diameter of about 1.4 million kilometers. That's like 870,000 miles. Yeah, you can fit about 1 million Earths inside the sun. The sun is very dense in mass. Its mass accounts for about 99.86% of the total mass of the solar system. It's made mostly of hydrogen and helium. And I think some carbon and nitrogen, too. How old is the sun, anyway? It's about 4.6 billion years old. Wow, that's pretty old. That's it for now. Hope you enjoy learning some facts about the sun. Bye! Today, we're going to learn about Mercury. Mercury is the first planet from the sun in our solar system. You remember the others, right? Venus? Earth? Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Good job, Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. It has a radius of about 2,000 kilometers. That's 1,240 miles. And a diameter of about 4,880 kilometers. That's 3,032 miles. Is it smaller than a snail? No, it's not. It's bigger than a snail. How about an elephant? Definitely bigger than an elephant. Is it the size of a whale? It's bigger than any animal. It's actually just a little bit bigger than the moon. It would 
take more than 18 Mercuries to be as big as Earth. What's Mercury made of? It's made of heavy metals, like iron. So it must be pretty heavy, huh? It is. How fast is the orbit around the sun? 112,000 miles per hour. Vroom! That's like a racing car! Mercury can get as close to the sun as 29 million miles and as far away as 43 million miles. Oh! So it doesn't stay the same distance away from the sun while it's going around! Nope, it has an unusual orbit which is more like an oval movement around the sun. I bet it gets as hot as 800 degrees Fahrenheit in the daytime and as cold as negative 200 degrees Fahrenheit at night! It gets really cold at night because it doesn't have an atmosphere to keep in the heat! Well, what else do we know about Mercury? Well, the surface looks kind of like the moon! Full of holes and made of rocks falling around the space! Yeah, and the core is made of part liquid. Mercury has a thin exosphere! It also is the quickest of all the planets in our solar system to travel around the sun. That's right! It takes about 88 days! Thanks for watching! Learn with Lily, Science for Kids! Today we're going to learn about Venus. Wow! Venus is the second planet in our solar system. The one planet before it is Mercury. The ones following it are Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Cool! Venus is the closest planet to the Earth. It's 162 million miles away, which is 261 million kilometers away. It'll take 100 to 150 days to travel from Earth to Venus. Whoa, you need a lot of snacks for that trip. Venus is often called Earth's sister planet because they're so similar in size. Earth's diameter is 12,742 kilometers and Venus's diameter is 12,104 kilometers. That means Venus is smaller by a diameter of 638 kilometers. Whoa, that's really close. Yeah. Did you know that Venus is actually the brightest planet in the whole solar system? No way! Yeah! It actually has two nicknames because of this. The Evening Star, because it's the brightest object in the Earth's night sky except for the Moon. And Morning Star, because you can see it on a clear day. I'm totally going to go look for it tomorrow! That sounds super fun! Because it was the brightest planet in the solar system, they named Venus after the Roman goddess Venus. Isn't she the goddess of beauty and love? Yeah, and she was also referred to as the bright queen of the sky. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. It's a whopping 462 degrees Celsius or 863 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot. How did it get that hot? Well, the atmosphere of Venus is made up of mostly carbon dioxide and nitrogen. It also has a layer of cloud around it made of sulfuric acid. So the radiation from the sun heats up the surface of Venus and gets nice and hot, but the heat can't escape through all the carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid. Isn't that called the greenhouse effect? Yeah, it is. Good job! So that's why Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. Did you know that Venus once had oceans just like Earth does? No way! Yeah, it did. But unfortunately, they all evaporated as the temperature of the planet increased over time. I guess there's no swimming on Venus. <laughs> no, there isn't. Well, that's all the facts I have for now on Venus. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Hi everyone, welcome to Learn with Lily. Science for kids! Today we're going to learn about the planet Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun. It's where we live. The others are Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Earth is the only planet we know of with life! That's right, there's all sorts of animals, humans, and plants living on Earth! Yeah! There are all kinds of living organisms like bugs, birds, fish, and bacteria! How many species of life are there on Earth? 8.7 million! Wow! Earth is also special in our solar system because the only planet with liquid water on its surface! What do we know about Earth's atmosphere? Well, it's made up of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% other gases like carbon dioxide, argon, and neon. That's pretty cool. What's Earth made of? Our planet Earth is made up of four parts. A crust, a mantle, an outer core, and an inner core. Cool, what are those? Well, it's layers. Oh. The crust is the outside, where we stand and build things on. It's the thinnest of the layers. 
Yes, and the mantle is the middle layer. It's made of both solid and liquid melted rock. It's about 1,800 miles thick and makes up about 85% of Earth's weight. Wow! The core is made up of iron and nickel! The outer core is liquid and the inner core is solid. Wow! It's really hot in there! The Earth's radius is 3,959 miles. That's 6,331 kilometers! And its diameter is 7,926 miles. Whoa! That's 12,742 kilometers! Do you know how far the Earth is from the Sun? It's an average of 93 million miles away! Yes, that's 150 million kilometers. That's called an astronomical unit! It takes 8 minutes for life of the Sun to reach our planet. How long does it take you to orbit the Sun? It takes 365.25 days. And how old is the Earth? It's 4.54 billion years. Wow! That's older than my grandpa! Check our last video out and don't forget to subscribe and like for new videos every week! Science for Kids, brought to you by Learn with Lily. Today we're going to talk all about the moon. Cool, let's get started. The moon is the Earth's only natural satellite. Do you know what that means? No, what is that? It means that it's something that occurs naturally in space that goes around and around planet Earth. Cool, look at the moon go. The moon came about when an object hit the Earth. This object blasted out rocks that all came together and orbited around the Earth. While orbiting the Earth, these rocks eventually all melted down. After that, they cooled. And then they became the moon. Can you guess how old the moon is? 25 years old? Nope. 200 years old? Nope. 1,000 years old? Nope. The moon is about 4.5 billion years old. It formed 30 to 50 million years after the Earth formed. Do you know who this is? This is Neil Armstrong. He was the first person to place footsteps on the moon. Isn't that amazing? He, along with fellow astronaut Buzz Aldrin, stepped out of the spacecraft, the Eagle, on July 21st, 1969, and said the very famous words, That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The moon controls the ocean tides. The gravitational pull of the moon creates two bulges in the ocean, one facing the moon and on the opposite side away from the moon. Those are high tides. Low tides are on the opposite side. The moon is much smaller than the Earth, and its diameter is just 2,159 miles, or 3,476 kilometers. That means the moon would fit in the Earth four times. The temperature of the moon changes all the time and can range from minus 451 degrees Fahrenheit to 253 degrees Fahrenheit. Whoa, what a change! Well, those are all the facts I have about the moon for now. See you later! with Lily. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Learn with Lily. Science for kids! Today we're going to learn about the planet Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun in our solar system. The order of the planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Mars is called the Red Planet. Really? Why? It has a reddish color landscape, that's why. Oh, okay. Mars is the second smallest planet in our solar system. That's right, only planet Mercury is smaller than Mars, all the others are larger. Mars has an atmosphere made of about 96% carbon dioxide, less than 2% of argon, and less than 2% of nitrogen. There are also trace amounts of oxygen, water, vapor, and other gases in Mars' atmosphere. Do you know how far away Mars is from the sun? I'm not sure. How far away is it? It's 142 million miles! Ah, that's about 229 million kilometers. It sure is. Know any other fun facts? Well, Mars has about one-tenth of the mass of Earth. That's interesting. That means if we put both planets on a weighing scale, the Earth would weigh a lot more than Mars. You're right. Did you know that Mars has less gravity than Earth? I did. If you were to bounce a ball on Mars, it would bounce a lot higher than it would on Earth. Yeah, you'd experience about 62.5% less gravity than you were used to. Sometimes it snows on Mars. What? Yeah, I guess. Snowflakes are made of carbon dioxide and not water. Oh, I would probably love to visit. Maybe you'd take me along too. Do you know any other facts? It would take about six Mars to be as big as Earth. 
Mars has a radius of about 2110 miles. Must, it must be pretty hot, huh? It actually is colder than Earth because it is further away from the sun. Oh. Yep. The temperature on the surface is about 190 degrees negative to about 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And how about the temperature of the atmosphere? That's about negative 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, my question, how long does it take for Mars to orbit the sun? It takes about 1.88 years for Mars to go around the sun once. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Science for Kids by Learn with Lily. Today we're going to learn about the planet Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet in our solar system. Planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Jupiter is called a gas giant. This is because it's mostly made up of the gases hydrogen and helium, which is similar to the sun. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system named for the king of the ancient Roman gods. If we took a nickel and a basketball, the Earth would be the size of a nickel, and Jupiter would be the size of a basketball. Jupiter is pretty huge. Jupiter has a radius of 43,440.7 miles, and it's 11 times wider than Earth. Do you know how far away Jupiter is from the Sun? It's 5.2 astronomical units. That's about 483.8 million miles and 778.5 million kilometers. Jupiter has 53 moons, possibly 69. The four largest are named Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. They were discovered by Galileo in 1610. Jupiter is the stormiest planet in our solar system. In fact, there's been a storm that's been going on for hundreds of years on Jupiter. You can see it as a giant red spot. That's why it's called the Great Red Spot. It takes about 12 years for Jupiter to make one complete orbit around the Sun. Do you know how heavy Jupiter is? It's pretty heavy. In fact, Jupiter's mass is two and a half times more than all of the other planet masses combined. Do you know what that means? It means if you took the other seven planets and put them on a weighing scale, Jupiter would still be more than twice as heavy as all of them put together. That's pretty heavy. Well, that's all for this episode. See you next time. Bye. Welcome to another episode of Learn with Lily, Science for Kids. Today we'll be talking about the planet Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun. The others are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter. Saturn is the second largest planet in our solar system. It has a diameter of approximately 75,000 miles. That's 120,000 kilometers. You could line up more than nine Earths across it. Jupiter is the only planet larger than Saturn. Saturn is known for its amazing rings. It's surrounded by rings made up of millions of ice crystals, rocks, and dust. They stretch out into space for thousands of kilometers. Saturn has 62 moons. It's made up of gas. You can't stand on it if you tried. It's made up of 97% hydrogen, 3% helium, some methane, and ammonia. It takes 29 years for Saturn to orbit around the Sun. Saturn is named after the Roman god of farming. The distance of Saturn from the Sun is 885 million miles. That's a lot of kilometers, over a billion. Saturn is visible from the Earth in the night sky without needing a telescope. The ancient Babylons tracked it as early as 1830 BC. That's about 188 years ago. They could see it by looking up at the night sky with their naked eyes. That means they didn't need a telescope. Galileo was the first person to see it through a telescope back in 1610. Saturn is known as the jewel of our solar system. Why? Because its beautiful rings make it look like it has a crown. Is Saturn a hot or cold planet? Have you ever wondered? Well, it's a cold gas giant. It has an average temperature of negative 178 degrees Celsius. 
That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos from Learn with Lily. Hey kids, welcome to another episode of Science for Kids by Learn with Lily. Today we're going to talk about Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from our solar system sun. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, you never know. Uranus is called a gas giant, which means it's made out of hydrogen and helium. The four gas giant planets are Uranus, Jupiter, Saturn, and Neptune. Three or four billion years ago, something twice the size of Earth slammed into Uranus and knocked it over on its side. This is why it's unique and rotates on its side, the only planet to do so. It has a radius of 15,000 miles and approximately is four times wider than this Earth. Uranus is about 1.8 billion miles away from the Sun. That's pretty far. It's made out of water, methane, and ammonia fluids. It has a rocky center. Uranus has faint rings. The outer rings are easier to see. There are 27 moons that we know of, and they're all named after characters in the books of William Shakespeare and Alexander Pope. Here's a list of all of the moon names for Uranus. That's quite a bit there. You have Bianca, Juliet, Cupid, you have Miranda, Ferdinand, Francisco, and many more. That's all for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care, kids. Welcome to another episode of Learn with Lily, Science for Kids. Today we're going to learn about Neptune. Neptune is the eighth planet from the Sun in our solar system. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are all of the planets in our solar system. Neptune has 14 moons that we know of, seven inner moons, and seven outer moons. Neptune is the furthest away from the Sun out of all the planets in our solar system, about 2.8 billion miles away actually. It has a mass 57 times more than Earth, and a diameter of about 59,000 kilometers. It takes 16 hours and 17 minutes for it to rotate once. Neptune was discovered in 1846, a joint discovery by Britain, France, and Germany. Neptune is a gas giant, the smallest of the four in our solar system. It's made out of hydrogen, helium, and methane. Neptune looks blue because of the methane in its outer atmosphere. It has a large white cloud called Scooter, and a giant storm similar to Jupiter's. It's called a Great Dark Spot. Neptune is named after the Roman god of the ocean. In Greek mythology, his counterpart is the god Poseidon. Have we ever been to Pluto? In 1989, NASA's Voyager 2 was the first spacecraft to observe Neptune. We haven't sent any astronauts to land on Neptune yet, though. Maybe someday we will. That's all for now. We hope you enjoyed another episode of Learn with Lily. Please like and subscribe. Our solar system is learning with Lily! Yay! Say hi, Lily! Hi! Sun! Sun. Moon. <laughs> o O N. Star. Meow. There goes the star. And there was more star. And you say hi to the star. Say hi to the star. Say bye to the star. And then the planet. Planet. Yeah. Yeah. There's lots of planets. One, two. A three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight. Yay, star planet. We live on Earth. Yeah, Earth. Wow, Earth.
not a fascinating place. And there's Mercury. Oh, and there's Venus. And then there's Earth. And then there's Mars. Then there's Jupiter. And then there's Saturn. Okay, Saturn. And then Uranus. Yeah. And then Neptune. One, two, a three, a four, a five, six, seven, and eight! No nine, no, only, there's only eight. Oh, the sun, the moon, and the star can be eleven. Bye! Say bye! Mercury, ah! Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, your anus, and Neptune, the Sun, the Moon. I know, there goes the Moon, the stars. <laughs> the stars. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check our last video out and don't forget to subscribe and like for new videos every week. Bye!